The movie begins on a cruise ship where two men humiliate a dog for eating their discarded food. A wise old man notices this and saves the poor canine from the bad people. One of the staff thanks him for saving the canine's life. The old man then expresses frustration, lamenting about how humans are always hostile to each other and that we keep coming up with a thousand ways to hurt each other. On the contrary, dogs demonstrate unwavering loyalty and affection towards their owners. They offer unconditional love, serving as a source of comfort and companionship in both good times and bad. He starts to tell a story to his father, Volkov, a Soviet military pilot during World War II, and his canine companion, Prince. The old man recalls the time his father was once saved by Prince from a German spy. We learn that Volkov excelled at the Military Air Force Academy, graduating with honors in 1939. Shortly thereafter, he earned a promotion to the position of commander. One evening, his general paid him a visit at home and issued an intimidating ultimatum regarding Volkov's romantic relationship with his daughter. He warned Volkov that he would put him in jail if he didn't stop seeing his daughter. Despite the threat, Volkov stood firm expressing his willingness to accept whatever consequences came his way. He refused to give up on love. Sadly, the following morning, Volkov was falsely arrested on charges of indiscipline and imprisoned for two years. After his release, he was reassigned as a ranger in a forest. One day, while on duty, he rescued a puppy from two wolves and named him Prince, who would later become his dearest companion. In a flashback, we see Volkov and Prince becoming fast friends. One day, Volkov finds himself ambushed by a German spy armed with a knife. Just as the situation turns dire, Prince saves the day by biting the spy and enabling his master to apprehend him. Thanks to his companion's bravery, Volkov earns respect within the Red Army. Following this incident, Volkov and Prince continue to form a strong bond sharing meals, rest, and playtime together. As the Second World War erupts, he is enlisted in the military, bringing his dog along to defend their country against German adversaries. However, due to his injuries, he's assigned to assist the camp's medical staff. One day, Volkov is conversing with a doctor when suddenly a German bomber attacks their camp. Despite the destruction around him, he manages to escape unharmed. He swiftly assists injured soldiers and loads them onto trucks. However, in the chaos, he's forced to take shelter beneath one of the trucks. Hiding under the vehicle, Volkov swiftly fires at the enemy. His aim is surprisingly accurate despite his long absence from the battlefield. He takes down German spies single-handedly, but suddenly a missile strikes the truck. This sadly causes him to lose consciousness. When he reopens his eyes, he senses his life slipping away. Thankfully, Prince rushes to get help from the medical vehicle. Initially, the doctors don't recognize the dog, but a nurse named Nina follows him. It's revealed that Nina is Volkov's fiance. Nina worriedly follows Prince to the battlefield and discovers Volkov. Thanks to their loyal companion, Volkov's life is spared once again. Unfortunately, he has sustained severe leg injuries. Once he's aboard the medical vehicle, the doctors are forced to amputate his leg in order to save his life. In the meantime, the soldiers are amazed by Prince's bravery and loyalty to his master. Volkov is transferred to the state hospital, where Nina works. His health condition eventually improves, but he has to walk with the help of crutches. One night, Prince senses something amiss in the neighborhood and decides to investigate. Volkov follows his partner's intuition and accompanies him to a nearby house. There, they discover a dead body. Suddenly, the murderer attacks Volkov from behind the dark. Thankfully, Prince once again saves his master's life by ruthlessly attacking the murderer. At the same time, the patrolling army hears the commotion and arrives at the scene. The soldiers are once again impressed by Volkov and his brave companion for their dutiful actions. Meanwhile, the Soviet Union's army general finds himself struggling against the might of the German tanks. Once again, trouble looms over the country, prompting the general to re-enlist Volkov and his brave companion Prince by his side. 
Volkov's hopes are dashed when he learns that, instead of being deployed to the front lines, he and Prince will be sent to a military dog training base. One evening, Nina comes home to find her fiancé and their neighbor Tatiana in a compromising position. She mistakes their encounter and ends up arguing with him. She had been suspicious of their relationship, so discovering them together was the last straw for her. Enraged, she packs up her belongings and storms out of the house, while Volkov tries his best to calm her down. He later visits the hospital to look for her. He learns from a nurse that Nina voluntarily transferred herself to the front on the battlefield. Much to his surprise, she is pregnant, so he must save her. The following day, the dogs, including Prince, in the military base, undergo harsh training. They need to endure prolonged hunger before being fed beneath tanks. General Sopov, the head of the base, announces that their intention is to train the dogs for the army to destroy enemy tanks, particularly those of Germany. However, this cruel act angers many dog owners because it would be a suicide mission for their pets. The general responds by threatening to enlist them instead for the mission if they refuse to send their dogs for army duty. The general further emphasizes the need to familiarize the canines with the sounds of the engines. However, Volkov mentions that the dogs cannot work under such noise due to their self-preservation nature. But he's proved wrong when the general throws two small puppies under a tank. The mother dog, witnessing this, instinctively breaks free and chases after her puppies. She ignores the bludgeoning sound of the tank and goes underneath it. This proves the general's theory that the canines can be trained to do the work that humans cannot. Later, the general's assistant explains to the dog owners that initially humans were tasked with destroying tanks by carrying bombs. However, it became evident that humans, being slower than dogs, often faced gunfire before reaching the tanks. Recognizing this vulnerability, the army initiated special training programs for dogs. The objective was to equip them with bombs strapped to their bodies to target enemy tanks effectively. Once the dogs overcame their fear of tanks, the captain began attaching bombs to their bodies. This strategic move ensured that when the dogs reached beneath the tanks, the bombs would detonate upon encountering pressure. Consequently, it would destroy the enemy's tanks and thwart their soldiers' advances. He also reveals that they had previously trained some dogs to release the bombs underneath enemy tanks and return to their handlers. However, the plan didn't work out because they got confused and scattered around. They didn't hear the whistles and dropped the bombs everywhere, so they're left with no choice but to send the canines on a suicide mission. The assistant further reveals that there is an order to prepare all the dogs to become destroyers. Following this, the dogs are exposed to the terrifying sounds of tank engines day and night to desensitize them. Owners are also required to run under tanks, aiding in the dog's desensitization process. The ultimate goal of this rigorous training is to prepare the dogs to carry bombs under the tanks. Upon learning the plan, Volkov's heart sinks heavily. Prince had saved his life, and the thought of him embarking on a suicide mission is unbearable for him. Volkov cannot bear to part with his beloved pet, so he decides to flee with him. However, their escape is thwarted when their general catches them that night. The general issues a stern warning, threatening Volkov with dire consequences if he betrays the army. After his failed attempt, Volkov resorts to another tactic. He presents his injury certificate and applies for retirement, not just for himself, but also for Prince. He even offers to go to war in his pet's place. Volkov's actions are driven by his unwavering love for his pet and he is willing to sacrifice his own life for him. However, the general confronts him, accusing him of betrayal for prioritizing a dog over his country. Disheartened, Volkov retreats to his room, overwhelmed with sadness and anger. In a fit of frustration, he begins to smash objects with his crutch. Hearing the commotion, his neighbor Tatiana rushes to the room to offer support to Volkov. She reminds him of the dire situation their country faces and emphasizes that every individual is endeavoring to defend it with heroism.
Tatiana explains that Prince isn't merely a pet, but a courageous soldier devoted to protecting their homeland. She also highlights the potential consequences for both Volkov and Prince if their country were to fall. Moved by Tatiana's words, Volkov reconsiders his decision to leave the army. He resolves to stand alongside his comrades, understanding the gravity of the situation and the importance of defending their country. The following day during training, he snatches dog food from the general's hand and dashes toward a tank. Witnessing his actions, Prince follows suit and rushes beneath the tank. However, the dog isn't driven by the desire to eat the food, but solely by his determination to safeguard his master's life. Observing Prince's dedication, the general decides to deploy him along the other trained military dogs to the battlefield the next day. On the battlefield, Volkov and the rest of the Red Army brace themselves as they face a group of German soldiers and four daunting tanks. Just then, the general receives orders to attach bombs to the dogs, intending to halt the German tanks' advance. While the plan proves effective initially, a complication arises when a dog unexpectedly darts beneath a Soviet tank. It's revealed that the trainers had neglected to teach the dogs to distinguish between Soviet and German tanks. This is a crucial oversight that took a while for the general to realize. The ensuing explosion shatters the Soviet tank, enraging the general, who promptly replaces the dogs with trainers. The situation is eventually diffused, and the remaining dogs are released. One of the owners, with tears in his eyes, sends his dog charging like a bullet towards a German tank. With remarkable force, the dog smashes into the tank, demolishing it completely, but also sadly killing himself during the process. While the general rejoices at the tank's destruction, the dog's trainer is overcome with grief. He clenches his fists tightly as he's unable to witness his beloved pet meeting such a fate. As the war rages on, more military dogs are deployed to the battlefield on the general's orders. Within moments, they successfully destroy the second German tank. The general then aims to take out the third tank by sending in another dog. However, the third owner cannot bear to sacrifice his precious dog in such a manner. Defying orders, he removes the bomb from the pet's body and charges towards the tank himself. Despite his efforts, humans cannot match the speed of dogs, and as they close in, the owner is shot by German soldiers. Witnessing the tragedy unfold, the general rushes to save the owner, but ends up injuring himself. The injured owner fights fiercely as he bravely goes under the tank and sacrifices himself to destroy it. But even after his heroic act, the last tank approaches quickly. To make matters worse, the Red Army's camp faces attacks from all sides with bombs exploding everywhere. In the chaos, poor Nina, who also happens to be fighting at the front, gets badly hurt. Volkov notices her and gathers his courage to save her. He decides to confront the German enemies, but unfortunately, he also gets injured in the fighting. In this tough moment, Prince suddenly dashes forward amidst the rain of bullets and collides directly with a German tank. Just like that, the beloved dog sacrifices himself to destroy the last German tank, saving Volkov, Nina, and the entire Soviet camp. Eventually, Volkov retires with great honor, paying tribute to Prince's bravery. The movie shifts back to the present time, where the old man, Volkov's son, is sharing his father's story with the audience. One of them asks what happened to his parents. We learn that his mother Nina died shortly after childbirth, while his father Volkov went missing in 1945. Tatiana was the one who had found him in the orphanage and raised him like a son. They moved to Mongolia and lived a peaceful life. It turns out that Tatiana told the old man the story of his father's and his pet's great endeavors during the war. When Tatiana died, he moved back to Russia to his homeland, where his parents sacrificed their lives for the greater good of the country.